Now, if you don't remember a door right here, um, don't worry about it. I've been busy. I've been really busy. And I'm just going to go ahead and fly over here into this little part of the world. And we're going to set up a little something something here that, um... Oh, you know what? I forgot something. Hold on. Let me swing back. I did. I totally forgot something. And here, this gives me a good excuse to do this. All right. Die. Die. Die, my darling. There we go. All right. I think, if I remember correctly, it's on Artemis. What I'm looking for, that is. All the way down here. Oh, no. Yep, there they are. Just take five of those. That'll be fine. Don't really need any more than that. I meant to grab a few before I left, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. It is not the end of the world. Now, I should probably tell you that while I have been busy doing stuff, uh, I might have also edited my game I and I such that, uh, yeah, in case you looked closely right there, you might have noticed, yes, I am indeed now level 100. Now, I don't know what happened other than some sort of bug hit me that has hit others where I'm stuck at the game's original level cap of 74. Now, if you don't remember the game being at 74 originally, well, then don't worry about it. It's not really... It's neither here nor there. It doesn't matter. Simple fact is I am stuck at that level such that I decided to take matters into my own hands and just say the heck with it. Let us go ahead and modify the I and I, which is what I didn't want to do but ultimately was, well, rather effective, and so be it. So that's what I've done. I just went ahead and modified the game's I and I, and there we go, level 100, just like that. It's pretty magical. I'm going to go ahead and say, um, right about there looks pretty good. I don't, I don't really know if that's very good or not, but that's what we're going to say. And then we're going to go ahead and put you right there. Um, that, that looks... That looks about decent. That's going to be slightly problematic. That's not really centered. It's all right, though. We're going to go ahead and aim it up a couple of times. Um, I think that's going to need to go up one more. What do you say? I think one more. I think one more. That, I'm actually still a little worried about that. If I'm, if I'm just kind of looking here. Cat, don't worry about it. I'm just throwing things. Like, literally throwing things. Um... That might work. It's going to be iffy. We're going to try it right there, though. That that seems like a good start. Yeah. Anyway, yes. As I have kind of said, I've been busy. And now we're going to go see if we can get anything to work out of this. Hi! Hello there. How are you doing? That right there would be um, a wild rock elemental who is about to pick up a rock and throw it at my bird. But since we're flying around on wyvern bait number two... Hello, bugs. Wyvern bait number two has enough health to kind of deal with this sort of issue, so it's not the end of the world if she does get hit once. Maybe even twice. I would prefer not to be hit, obviously. But if she does get hit, it's really okay. All right, buddy. Hi. I just need to make sure I have your, your full attention there, sir. I'm just going to walk my bird over this way because it's kind of ridiculous. And, yep, I figured there was a good chance you would be throwing. That was really close right there, buddy. I'm just telling you. Oh, can I get you to, to come over here a little to the left? Perfect. All right, now I'm going to take my bird and relocate right about there. Nope, 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 no, crap. Hey, hey, you. You. Hey, you. With the, the rocky guy. Yeah, take that. What you gonna do about it? I'm gonna punch this this ant. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, run. Um, I think that flew overhead. Punch the ant. All right, come right over here, good sir. Right over here. I think that needs to go up one. Oh, run! All right, I think that looks pretty darn good. Fire! Um, did I not arm you? Crap! Fire! Ooh, I think that might have hit it in the face. All right, watch out! Watch out! Uh, I think the bug might have just gotten squished, which is hilarious if so. Oh, did that one miss? I think that one might have missed. All right, quickly reload. I don't I don't have a whole lot of these things. Yeah, you missed me, buddy. And fire. Oh, yeah, that was a direct hit right there. That was a good one. All right, fire. Man, you're still not down. 
All right, I have a plan B, but it's not a very good plan B, I, I totally admit. Uh, fire! Oh, oh, look at that, look at that! Oh, he's unconscious! All right, I had exactly enough cannonballs. Holy cow, man. All right, um, I didn't bring what I need to tame this guy, so therefore I need to go head back to base. Is there any chance my cannonballs are lying around somewhere? Because that would be fantastic. Those things cost a lot of resources to make. I'm just saying. They really, truly did. I mean, it was, I don't know, they're like 80, 80 metal per, and then a bunch of cementing paste, and a bunch of gunpowder, and it um, seems like something else. Maybe not, but it seems like something else. All right, here, we'll just go ahead and park you inside right there. I forgot to grab a bunch of sulfur. Now, obviously, Mantis Kibble... Well, I don't know about obviously, but just in case you didn't know, Mantis Kibble is indeed their preferred food. But if you don't have Mantis Kibble, then you can go with Sulfur, which is their second preferred food. Just to say it's not really their preferred food, but it's, you know, a good alternative. So I'm going to go ahead and fly back over here. This is going to take a long time. It's going to take, uh, I forget if it's 90 of this Sulfur something along those lines. Obviously, I grabbed a lot more than that just because, well, you know, I figured it doesn't hurt to come prepared. So there you go. Have a crap ton of sulfur there, good sir. I don't know how quickly or how often you eat, but it looks like, um, looks like you're eating a little more frequently than, say, the standard carnivorous dinosaur. I'm going to hope that you don't, um, well, your torpor isn't really dropping all that fast. Yeah. Okay, I can just watch it and, and confirm that. Oh, there you go. He ate two. Now, see, this is where it would be really good if I would finally get my farms in place and get some citronelles growing. Then I could bust out some of my metabolic accelerators. Those things are just awesome. How's this guy doing? How are you doing? I think these are... Oh, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. 5,000 out of 5,000, 15,000. Yeah, all right. That's looking pretty good. How is my... How is my uh, gate frame doing not shabby. All right, this guy's looking pretty unconscious. We're not going to get a ton of levels out of this guy. Not not really, because, again, we're not using his preferred food. We're using, um, you know, kind of the equivalent of maybe uh, cooked prime meat or something along those lines versus raw prime meat. Or maybe we're using the equivalent of raw prime meat versus kibble, something along those lines. But just the same. This is going to work out just fine, I think. Although I'm kind of thinking maybe I should go grab uh, a bigger dinosaur. Something to just kind of hang out and, and watch and just make sure nothing bad happens. I think I'm going to go grab Artemis. Here, let's let's grab Artemis. I think I got Artemis. Yep, you're following Wyvern Bait number two. That's perfect. Artemis, I would just like you to come join me over here. Artemis is like, I know this guy. I don't really want to hang out by it. I've been punched in the, in the head and had rocks thrown at me and and you name it i don't really want to watch over this guy i just want to eat its face except it's made out of stone and i will probably break some teeth therefore what are you doing to me you stupid human sorry artemis i appreciate you being a pal though really truly do and in fact just to show you how much i appreciate it have some more melee damage you're really close to 400 percent. that is awesome <laughs> that really is ah that is great i'm gonna drink some water and uh just Kind of, I'd say chill here, but it's really hot outside, so maybe we'll throw Ratface down, grab a tent, and uh, Ratface, have some more health, buddy. Why not? Pick you back up, and uh, yeah, so I'm just going to chill here for a while, or warm here for a while, or, or something. I'm not really sure which it is just yet, but either way, I've got a cannon right there, and that's pretty awesome. And uh, if we need to catch another elemental, we're pretty much good to go. I just need more cannonballs. I'm not quite sure what happened other than, well, obviously it's uh, getting late into the night here, but um, apparently Ember decided to join us. She was actually just kind of chilling on, on the desert over there, and I thought, well, that's weird. I, I don't... Oh, man, are you kidding me? How did I get stuck on a fence foundation? Of all the dumb things to get stuck on. Oh, man. Oh, and that actually destroyed my... <laughs> oh, that's just great. Whatever. I'm not going to worry about it because there's a rock elemental right there. Done. I don't know what to name you though. 
Could go with Rocky, but that seems a little too obvious. Ah, oh, man. Sometimes this game. How did I get stuck on a fence foundation? Destroy that. Unrelated to the one that's actually attached to the to the actual um, dino gateway. And then it just destroys the dino gateway. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Hi. Can I just hop on you? Do I, do I need a... I need a saddle for you. All right. Well, I guess I better figure that one out. All right. So do we have... Um, I don't know. What, what are you? Elemental? No. Rock? Hmm. All right. Saddle. So how about just the Scorched Earth Saddles? Rock Golem Saddle. I love how nothing at all is consistent. It's called a Wild Elemental, Wild Rock Elemental, and then the saddle is called a Golem Saddle. Pick one, guys. Pick one. Pick one and run with it. That guy is just crazy looking. Look at that. He has guts, too. At least it kind of looks like he does. I don't know. Maybe not. Anyway, we need to get everyone back to base. Um, here, let's try taking Ember, because you're going to be the biggest pain in the rear to, to actually park somewhere. So we'll just very slowly here. Um, very slowly, I said. Ember doesn't know slow, just in case. Just in case you forgot. Ember doesn't know the meaning of slow. There you go, 147. You, you have gotten faster yet um here uh wyvern bait wyvern bait you are the problem here all right can we get wyvern bait to go sit down somewhere there we go my goodness come on guys work with me here i think i'm actually going to have to do it this way all right here let me let me let me set ember down oh crap now i got now i got kindling's attention ah my goodness Come on, guys. You guys over here. You're the ones I'm trying to get to follow me. This is just painful. This is really painful. My goodness. All right, you know what? Everyone, just stop what you're doing. I'll get you one at a time, because apparently that's what it's going to take. All right, Ember, just set down anywhere. Anywhere is sufficient. Trust me, you're good. No one is going to mess with you, and let me get off of your head. Because that would be bad if I get stuck. Let's let's actually go over here into the smithy first. Before we do anything else. Oh wow, that actually ran out of wood. That's a hmm, that could be a problem. Golem saddle. We need some hides, more ingots, and fiber. Oh well that's easy enough. I've got all of that. No big deal. No big deal. Here, where where is everyone hanging out these days? Where did Wyvern Bait go? There you are. You're back there. Alright. Well I know I can get Wyvern Bait to follow me. Or rather, I can get these other uh, big creatures to follow me via wyvern bait. So we'll just go ahead and get them to follow me over here. I think Kindling just sat down right there. That actually works out pretty darn well. I'll uh, I'll get her to move in a little while. That's okay, though. I'm good with that. All right, uh, everyone. You know what? You're about close enough. Although, here, let's just go ahead and get you right about here. That'll work just fine. Put Artemis back to about where where she was. That That'll be okay. And then, theoretically here, I can go ahead and park my bird inside. Good. Oh, I forgot to put wyvern bait number one back inside. All right, sorry. You've been... I hope you've been enjoying the sun. I really, truly do, but it's time to go ahead and get you back inside. Yeah. Don't want anything bad to happen to you while you're outside. Like accidentally getting burninated by one of the wyverns, because that would be really bad. All right, so we need a bunch of hides. Oh, hello. 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 We are on an egg pickup detail. Eggs, 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 eggs. These are all just getting launched. Wow, holy cow, guys. Holy cow. Lots of eggs. Anyone else? Would you like to contribute an egg? Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? It does not appear as though anyone else would like to contribute an egg to the um, refrigerator. Because <laughs> that's just where they're going. I don't know what else to do with them. All right. So, you guys, Ember, you're going to have, um... Wow, what did I do with all of them? I guess I just emptied everyone's inventory. All right, let's try Artemis, then. Artemis, did I empty all of your stuff, too? Wow. My goodness, what have I been doing? All right, that'll be enough. That'll be enough. And then, um... Fluffy, what do you have on you, just out of curiosity? Let me give you a little extra weight. You don't really have any fiber on you, do you? That's okay. You don't need to. You're, you're fine as is. All right, we can bust out ye oldie sickle here, and we'll just go grab some fibers. It's not the end of the world. We can do this. 
Okay, fiber it up. Lots and lots of fiber for all my for all my friends. Everyone gets fiber. It's a nice fibrous day. All right, kindling. I would like to park you back where you belong, which is on top of the the building there. Although, what I could do. Yeah, we could do this. Here you go. Nope. You missed. Yeah, I don't really like you right there. Let's try that one more time. You're going to end up blocking access through the hatch. And I actually do take Moth Red out there because it's just kind of cool that I can maneuver her out there. I could probably get one of the birds out there if I let them um, walk first rather than try to... Oh, you... Dang it, you didn't quite make it. You tried. All right, well, whatever. We're not going to fight this for for the time being. There you go. Here, let's just set you down right there. That'll be fine. Not gonna, not going to worry about it. it. It's just going to take way too long if I try to fight that. All right, let's see. Door is open. We'll go ahead and go inside. We can close that and try not to get stuck. As long as I have enough movement speed, I don't seem to to get stuck right there like I I used to and. I might have taken a little extra movement speed just for giggles since I, I kind of, you know, made it so I can get up to level 100 finally, like I really should. Not that I really should with this amount of experience I have, but I should have been well past level 74, and that really kind of bugged me that I wasn't. So, there you go. Crappy rock golem saddle. Allow us to go throw it on our rock golem. Or... Wild rock elemental, since no one can decide what this guy is. There you go. You can go ahead and hold on to all that sulfur. You're going to need it. And there you go. Let's get you some. Let's get you some punching power. All right. Don't don't be stuck on Artemis. And kindling. There we go. We're slowly going to get you out of there. All right. So this is normal walking speed for this guy. This is going to take an eternity to get anywhere. Wow, it's morning already. That went so quickly. That game day passed, and I barely even noticed. Probably because it passed at 16 times speed. All right, so this is you running. You actually do move pretty darn quickly. I mean, for, you know, several tons worth of stone, this is pretty quick. I mean, you know, sure, other things can go faster, but um, just the same. That's pretty impressive. I, I'm not going to argue with that. Now, the problem with this is it's going to take me forever to get anywhere. So um, let me speed up the game and I'll rejoin you. I might I might have to wander around for a little while. And while I would really prefer not to do that, let's just see what happens here if I throw a rock at things. Okay, that, that looked interesting. How about you? Can I smash you? Yeah, goodbye, dung beetle. That's good to see. And then uh, here... Snake. Oh. Um. You're not a very good aim, are you? What are you aiming at? You seem to be aiming to the right. Oh, there. You tagged that snake. Nice job there, buddy. Good aim on that one. Titan Boa, would you like to turn around and fight me? You're welcome to. Fight my golem. Fight. Fight my golem. Smash. Smash all the things. Here, let's go run over here and smash all these things. Smash them with stones. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. How about you? Would you like to be smashed with a stone? <laughs> I actually kind of like this a lot. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of slow going, but that's pretty awesome looking. Just saying. Although I am just blowing through sulfur like it's no one's business here. I think there might be some around here, if I recall correctly. Scorpion, don't go too far. And yeah, maybe I can go harvest that, but I oh, look at that. You are getting some raw prime meat on you. Not that you really care or want that. That's fine. It's all good. Wow, I gotta say, this thing's pretty darn effective at killing stuff. I mean, it just kind of smashed everything. In, in their faces, and they all just kind of died. Where are we these days? I don't know how far out we are. You know, we got to go a little ways, I think, before we can kind of get to Deathworm Central. I think we got to go west a fair amount, and then uh, a lot north. So, 
but um, I think I have a friend. And as I have so discovered, there's actually a bit of a problem with these guys. They, they don't really care about golems. I think that might be in part why I had so much trouble finding one earlier. Um, they just, they don't seem to care. They're kind of like, eh, whatever, golem. Don't really care. It's just a golem. And th this might end up being a problem here, because I'm going to have to kind of um, do something a little dirty to make this work. Here, you know what? You need a little health. Or, um, <laughs> you don't need health. You're, you're barely even hurt. There we go. Oh, where did you go? Oh, it ran away, didn't it? Ah, oh, crud. Crud, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I don't know where it went. Oh, it's right under me still. All right. Okay, I see it. So here, I have to I have to do something kind of dirty to um to make it to make it pop out. Oh no, come on. Oh, there we go. Now it's coming out. Yeah. See, this is this is the problem. I need to be flying by with a bird or a wyvern or something and then just let this guy do all the fighting cuz he's not taking a whole lot of damage from the worm. I mean, he is being damaged, but not a whole lot. Problem is, I can't tell if I'm doing any damage to the worm. I really have no idea. Alright, well, now you need stamina again. Alright, let's just chill for a second here. How are you doing on food, anyway? You've gone through all of your food, but I'll take that, because I could use some berries right now. Yum, yum, yum. Four berries. Yummy, yummy, yummy. You're not going to regenerate any health, either. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, you, you need some food there, my friend. I really hope you're damaging this guy, because I honestly just can't tell. I mean, here, would it help if I turn my torch on so I can see? And it just looks like I'm a flaming fire golem. Which actually is kind of cool in its own right, but... Um, you're, you're not doing as well as I would have expected you to do. Honestly. I'm a little disappointed. Alright, stop getting hit, for one. That, that would be a good start here. Don't get hit. Alright, worm. You just go chill underground again. Oh, man. This is not going well. It's really not. And, and my poor golem is not really regenerating health. I mean, he has a little bit, but not much. What are you eating? You don't have any rocks on you. That Maybe that's what I should do. I should go grab some rocks real quick. That way I can give him some food. Let's see if I can do that without getting murderized. This is a bad idea. Yep. Such a bad idea. That's why I hopped right back on my golem. Because I knew that was a bad idea. Yeah, my golem's about to die. That's fantastic. Punch! Or back away! And not get hit! Here, let's go over here. Oh man, poor guy is... Poor guy is really not feeling good here. Really feeling quite terrible. All right, let's try it. And hop back on. Hopefully before something pops out and decides to kill him. All right, here you go. Have some rocks. Have some sand. Can I can I force feed you rocks? Does that work in the same way? No, nope, sand doesn't work for you. Do you eat flint? You don't eat flint, but you do eat rocks. Okay. Well, then theoretically, that, that'll help you get a little bit of health back. Oh, man, this is so not going well. And, yeah, I know. I'm hurting, too, so... You know, let's let's try this again. See how many stones I can get. And hop on. And relocate, just in case. There you go. Have some stones, buddy. How are you doing on them, anyway? You're down to 80. Okay. All right. You're, you're, you're going to eat, I think. Like I said, I can't tell. I don't think that's actually... I don't think that's healing him in the same way that... Does that work? Oh, you can eat meat. That's interesting. Does that do anything for you? 
Doesn't seem to. How about hides? Can you can you eat hides or spoiled meat? You can eat spoiled meat. Oh, what do we have going on here? Um, something. Are you taking damage? I don't know what's going on. Oh man, this is, this is not good. This is not good. Why are you so, so overburdened now? Oh, cause you got a ton of stone on you. Oh, well, wow, you are quite the stone collector, aren't you, good sir? I will have to remember that cause I don't need an ankylo now, I'll tell you that much. All right, let's get you some of that. And then uh, apparently I just need to let you chill for a while because um, looking around again, I don't know where the death worm went. And honestly, that's probably for the best. A level one death worm. And um, I thought these guys just tore them up, but apparently not. I am a little lost, so I need to figure out where I'm at. And I'm just going to go ahead and call it an episode right here. We got a golem, a wild rock elemental, a uh, whatever you want to call it, a something or other. And I'm okay with that. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm not going to worry about that I seem to be getting my butt kicked. Although I am really curious here. Very, very curious. Are those... Yeah, you are indeed pearls. I thought that might be the case. Because these ones are shiny. All right, those are, the, those are the silica pearls I know. The shiny ones. We're going to get out of here. I'll catch you on another one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.